Hey guys, welcome back to another video. FNAF Toy 2 here with another Fortnite video. And in today's video, we are going to be ranking all 14, yes, 14, Fortnite Season 4, Season 4, yeah, Season 4 Mythics, you know, the Marvel Season. This also will count Fortnite Nightmares, so the Brew Mythic and Midas' Drew Myth, Goo Myth Mythic. So yeah, um, this can be a pretty long video, so let's jump straight in. This season is gotta be Storm's Tornado Launch. Um, to be honest, I'm sorry, Storm. I know you got number eight in the Battle Pass video of skins because you were my least favorite skin. And I'm sorry to say, but your mythic is also my least favorite mythic. Now, th there's another one that was very close to becoming number 14, but instead it'll be number 13. So it's just an inch better than this one. This mythic isn't that all god and good. It pretty much just launches your opponents and does a little bit of damage. Not much, though, and it doesn't really launch them high enough for them to take fall damage. It kind of gives them the high ground, if you think about it. Especially if they're very good and they can, like, fall down and one-pump you instantly. So, yeah, overall, a pretty bad mythic. Not, not the best. And, yeah, there's some ones that are very simple and that are even better than this. Let's get on to number 13. one came out but it's because it says it's a shield and the only thing i like about this mythic is going downhill is quick and you get to heal but it says it's a shield but when it inst when you instantly get shot at it pretty much instantly comes off and you have to wait for the recharge i like how it heals you pretty good health wise it's pretty good going down mountains it's just decently overall not a mythic i'll ask for it does go through walls which is pretty nice but you know, not the best mythic in the world, and um, that's why it's here at number 13. Almost lost, but number 13. Let's go on to number 12. Obviously. But it's just pretty much glider read apply with... A, it's pretty much just using a launch pad, because it throws you in the air and you get on Silver Surfer's board. Now, that seems pretty basic, but still pretty cool um, little glider redeploy. You can do it from jumping out of a heli, so you take no fall damage. Forgot to mention, by the way, if you time the storm one perfect, you don't can't take fall damage. And the Groot one, you don't take fall damage. Most of these mythics are good, though, because this season, most of them you don't take fall damage with, which is always nice. Besides one of them, that is one of my favorites, but hey, it's okay. <laughs> Anyways, the Silver Surfer board, decently overall, not bad, but it's going to have to come at number 12. It's very basic, you know, and it's just not the best mythic ever. Um, the broom, I just like the motion of the gliding better, where you actually ride it like a broom. Even though, yeah, the Silver Surfer board is way cooler, and it makes more sense to the theme. The broom, I like a little bit better, and it was way easier to find at the Witch Hut. Um, instead of having to go through all those jets and not even getting the chance of getting the Silver Surfer one. So the Witch Broom was, uh, overall just a bit better. I liked the motion better, where you're riding it, like... Like an actual broom instead of just standing on top of a surfboard, you know what I mean? So yeah, even though, and I think it does have a little bit better height on it than the silver surfer board does, so that's a plus. So yeah, that's my number 11. Let's get on to number 10. They made it to the top 10s, but first of all, where's Black Panther's skin? <laughs> Anyways... Black Panther's kinetic armor is a kind of like a bubble shield you put on around you, and it takes a couple seconds to charge up. 
But then it blasts them and does a good about 40 damage, I think. Which is not bad, but it kind of reminds me of the Storm Mythic. Just not picking them up with the tornado. You're kind of just black blasting them back. But it's definitely 110% better than the Storm Mythic. But this Mythic and the Thor Mythic go hand in hand. Because both of them are kind of not good. So, but I think I'm going to have to throw Black Panther's Mythic in here at number 10. Making it just a bit worse than Thor's Mjolnir Strike. Sorry, Black Panther, but, you know, your Mythic's not the best. I wish we could have got something else like his Vibranium Claws or, you know, one of his actual weapons. But it's still... Mjolnir's Thor's Mjolnir Strike pretty it's a decent overall mythic when you have it in your range it does give you kind of like a gliding little power which is always nice this one by the way won't save you from fall damage neither does Black Panther's doesn't save you from fall damage either but anyways I just thought that was throw pro tips to throw in but anyways this mythic is mm, kind of bad because with the mythic like the the range of trying to hit somebody with Mjolnir is very hard, especially because he's small. But the circle that you get to hit people with is very big, which makes no sense. Because it looks like you're going to be able to hit them if they're in that circle at all. But they have to be at a certain part of the circle, which is very annoying. I would say I like it a little bit better than Black Panther's kinetic armor. Then again, because it also destroys buildings like crazy. And Black Panther's kinetic armor does not do that. But this mythic definitely... Is good for destroying builds, I think, better than for attacking, in my opinion. So, yeah, let's move on to number eight. Hulk's Mythic, I forgot the name of it. But when I first heard of She Hulk's Mythic, I heard it was gonna be pretty dope. And in my opinion, it's actually not that bad. It's not, there's some better ones on here. But it's not the worst mythic I've ever used before. <sighs> Storms. Storm. What, what are you doing to me? I'm just kidding. She-Hulk's mythic is actually better than I thought it was going to be. And I actually like She-Hulk's mythic. You can ground pound with it. Which is very good also for destroying builds. Ground pounding is very good. And you can just straight up attack people. Which does like 30 or 40 damage per hit. Which is very nice. Definitely uh, about as strong as the Black Panther Mythic multiplied, but hey, that's okay because it's pretty epic, and I'm gonna lie, it's one of my favorite Mythics, uh, that's why it's in at least the top 10. Definitely not better than some of the other ones coming up soon, but definitely very good. Let's jump on to number 7.
Midas is drum gun hitting in at number seven. I don't really gotta talk much about it if you watch if you watch mine from last season, where uh, or the season before. You know the two drum guns. You know we had Midas's drum gun, then Jules's drum gun, and then Midas's revenge drum gun, which is this one. It's pretty basic, just like every other drum gun drum gun mythic we've had. I think it does do a little bit more damage than because Midas's did a good amount of damage. Then Jules got nerfed. So it did less damage, and I think this one is better than Jules' drum gun, which is always nice. So yeah, not much to say about the drum gun. Let's jump into number six. Overall, decent gun. have to be Dr. Doom's Arcane Gauntlet. Now, these are overall pretty good. You get a nice little boost out of the air, and they do a good, decent amount of damage, but the problem is they're very slow at shooting, and you don't get boosted that high in the air, unlike Iron Man's. So, Iron Man's is efficiently better, but these aren't bad at first. These, uh... Anyways, so the Arcane Gauntlets aren't that bad. They're just very slow. They do do better damage, though. They're just slow, and they don't boost you as high into the air as Iron Man's. So it just makes it a little bit worse. Let's jump on to number five. So now we're entering the top five. Bye. before the season ended and i don't know if i'll be able to get it i'm a thousand v bucks off because i have a thousand nine fifty but i need the battle pass so technically i need two thousand nine fifty because the bundle is two thousand but anyways yeah i don't think i'll be able to get venom but venom smash grab isn't that bad of a mythic pretty much it grabs an opponent from far range and pulls them to you doing at least 40 43 damage i think and then you can easily one pump if you have at least a purple or even probably a blue pump and get easy kills. Pretty good for all the sweats. I wish you could swing with it too. But overall pretty decent mythic. Definitely makes it in my top 5. One of my favorite mythics they added this season. Just there's some better ones than this. Clarified by damage and such. But still a very, 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 very good mythic. Mythic. <laughs> so yeah. Venom's mythic. Not bad. Let's move on to number 4. and you glide around so you get longer you pretty much get aim ball like you get an aim sensor around people when they're moving you can see them it does less damage it does about half the damage dr dooms does but it shoots fast faster so you're hitting more shots with this one at a time than dr dooms so technically it makes it overall better than dr dooms um still not my favorite mythic none of the repulsors or arcing or the gauntlets are my favorite but still a very good one and definitely does make it to the top four best mythics this season, in my opinion. Just because it's height and it's um, damage and all that good stuff. So yeah, not much to say, but let's jump into number three. Use when the season first started used to be my favorite mythic of all time. Now it's dropped down to my number three spot. 
just because Dr. Doom's mystical bomb is very good, in my opinion. You, you know, it lights wood, builds on fire. I think it does 60 damage. The problem is that you, first of all, can't save yourself from fall damage. You'll still fall. And that when you lift it up, it takes a little too long to lift it up. I get it. You're lifting up a giant energy ball. Like, we're not all Johnny Cage here, boys. But, like, you know, still kind of sucks. I'm just kidding. Still definitely one of my favorite mythics. That's why it's entered the top three. Sadly, still not my favorite ever since they added more mythics, you know, before the season ended. So, yeah, I'm sorry to say, but you have to hit number three, Dr. Doom's Mystical Bomb. Let's jump in to number two. Now, these things are so good because when you run around, you heal. When you dash, it's an attack that does good amount of damage. I think it does 20 damage. And then when you're slicing, it does like 30 damage per slice. It's the strongest mythic in this season, and I love it. <laughs> Definitely one of my favorite mythics. I'm happy they added Wolverine, even though he's kind of impossible to take down. I love having these mythics. They're very strong, very good. I love the healing factor, even though it does take longer than the group ball. It's still, in my opinion... Definitely better to make it take longer. And you can still farm materials with it, which is also very helpful. Sa oh, wait, I think you do can Wait, no, you can't save yourself from fall damage with these mythics, which is sad. But, hey, that, that that's okay. Okay, sir? <laughs> Even though these are very good and they do the most damage this season, they are not my favorite mythic. <sighs> my favorite mythic is... Now, I'm so sad they nerfed it, I just realized. It used to do 190 damage, I think. Wait, no, it didn't. Well, it used to be the strongest mythic before Wolverine's Claws came in. I'm pretty sure it did 190, but I think now it only does 90, or maybe it just did 90 the whole time. Let me know in the comments down below. I totally forgot. <laughs> but anyways, Iron Man's Unibeam is going to have to be my favorite mythic of this season. Just like I said, Iron Man's my favorite skin. His Unibeam is one of my favorites, especially because it just penetrates through walls. It's pretty much just god-tier material, to be honest with you. And I love it, once again. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below uh, what your favorite mythic is or what your least favorite mythic is. Um, tomorrow will be a Mortal Kombat video, then Tuesday will be the live event for Fortnite. So I hope you guys are excited for these next two videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!